When you're a child living in a war zone, childhood is put on hold. In Gaza, nearly a million children have been displaced by the war. Many of them are here in Rafa, in the south of the Gaza Strip. That's also where a group of Palestinian volunteers have turned a small sandy area into an entertainment center for some of Gaza's children. With games, music and play, it's an oasis of fun for kids who've endured two and a half months of Israel's siege and bombardment. Our team consists of 15 specialists who work with children for psychological relief and psychological support. We have a storyteller's corner, we have people who make music, physical games, different corners, a drawing corner. This is a very important space in light of the circumstances we live in, because it creates a safe space for children so they can play and still feel like children. Our children suffered. They suffered from the conditions of war. They suffered from many problems. UNICEF has described Gaza as the most dangerous place in the world to be a child. But it's not just because of Israel's bombs. There's hunger, dehydration and increasingly disease too. And, of course, there's grief and shock. Countless children in Gaza have lost family members. Many have been orphaned. In the war, our house was bombed and was gone and my cousin was martyred. He was standing at the door of the house when he was martyred. My sister was wounded as well as my father and brother. My father said that they came to the schools and posted leaflets ordering us to evacuate. That's when we came here. We came here, we hung around for two days until this play centre opened. We came here and we were very happy and we played with activists. All the children were very happy. When the children first started coming to the camp, the effects of the war were all too evident. The very first few days were difficult for many of the children because there was a lot of negative energy accumulated among them. But in time we built trust and love with the children and they got to know the activists. They got to know the team. It became easier and easier to work with them. All of our team are very skilled and have experience working with children. We have a strategy and we have a clear plan. The impact that our work has is clear. You can see it in the faces of the children. The children laughing, the children playing. The children are very engaged. And this confirms to us the importance of the work that we do. Israel has declared Rafa a safe zone. But there is no safe place in Gaza. Even here, the bombs keep falling. When you're just a kid, it can be easy to forget that all this destruction is not normal. But this camp helps Gaza's children to hold on to that. When we came here, we were really happy. And this is something that I will never forget in my life. I will never forget it in my life. It was at night when the house was bombed. We were awake when the house fell on us. And we saw my cousin when they were trying to pull him away. We are children. We want to live and we want to live as we did before the war. We want to live, but as things are, we don't know how to live. <laughs>